And how are you? The new station hand arrives with Professor Salah Sukarie and his team from the Australian Centre for Field Robotics. Right, how are you? Very well, thanks. Shall we get the bot out? Yes, I think it's a good time to flash it and have a look. OK. This could be the future. Swagbot is the first prototype of a robot to do cattle work 24-7 in all terrain and all weather. Hello, Swagbot. This four-wheel drive robot could soon change the way farmers operate. I'm very curious about robots, um, that opportunity to take away some of that menial work but we have big hills here and I thought, oh, this will be challenging, rocks and logs and, and hills. And also in a mob of cattle, I wonder whether the machine will be mobbed by the mob. Swagbot is the only robot in the world being developed to work with grazing livestock. At the moment, every eye is on us. And they're yet to meet. There's always an element of risk we're dealing with animals that are much heavier than the robot itself. Would the animals ever get too fond of the robot and, or just you know, not care about it enough that they could just be mucking around in whatever way and accidentally knock it over? Swagbot is built for the outdoors, but no match for a spooked cow. Let's just open the gate and let them through. Today's first challenge, mingle safely with the crowd. <laughs> I think we're just going to go through the middle, then. Eh? See what Best happens. Best cow there, Rod. They're just moving away from it, but not really scared. That's the ordinary space they give anything. But they're curious. See them coming in oh, behind. Oh, they're coming in from behind. Okay. So Look at that. that's interesting. They're wow. very curious. That is amazing. It's like when they first saw the children on bicycles. Yeah. yeah. We've familiarised these as youngsters with my voice call and they will sort of respond to that and if we were to put a voice recorded on that machine they would follow it anywhere and that would mean horses are for sport. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Rod is eager to come coax on. the herd into following the strange new cowboy. But is his voice enough to put them at ease? Come on, come on, come on. It seems so. Well, I think that was very interesting, but I think they were following my voice rather than the swag bot. And it, it looks to me now as though we need to uh, actually give them some reward for all this, otherwise they're going to get bored and they'll be... Uh, disappointed in, in what we've been trying to teach them. So if we tie a bag of hail to the back of Swagbot, bring it over here, you can feed them a bit. They might get used to the hay with Swagbot there. And then if we took Swagbot up along this fence line around here, we'll just see if they follow Swagbot yeah. with hay. Yeah. Right, then, let's give it a try. But will the promise of food entice them into following a robot? Go on, Swagbot. Swagbot and its load are certainly interesting, but not quite enough. First, they expect a reward. Come on. Come on. And this does the trick. I think that's pretty good, Rod. That's impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And they're not, they're not scared anymore. And on to Swagbot's last test. Move the hungry crowd to greener pastures. Robotics in agriculture is not just an Australian idea. There are many countries around the world that are also looking at robotics for agriculture. What's unique about the Australian context is the large sizes that we're dealing with. And what we found over the last few years is that the agriculture industry has really taken on field robotics and we're becoming world leaders in the area. For Rod, finding the time to move his cattle to fresh paddocks could soon be a thing of the past. It would be Swagbot's job. All it needs now is his voice as a lure.
What do you reckon, Rod? Job done. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Good. I think it was quite impressive, actually, that, that uh, they've got a sound and a visual yeah. uh, cue, and I think they'll follow up on they'll that. follow up on it. So we're going to come back with your voice recorded um, and, and being able to trail, um, being able to carry some hay bales, mm. and we'll see what happens. We'll just do it from scratch. Yep. Absolutely, I think it'll work. Good, that no, was really good, it was a good day. Imagine this robot just being able to spend time amongst the cattle. Yeah. Constantly checking you know, animal health, yeah. being able to move them from pasture to pasture, depending on the quality of the pasture. So we just want to see whether they remember Swagbot, and if they do, well, we'll just follow the path, and, and then we'll see whether or not the voice call works as well. Armed they with Rod's voice under the hood, will Swagbot be able to lure the herd into following without seeing him? Yep, yep. A month after their first encounter, nobody knows what to expect. Cows included. Call until we say, you know, we'll just just see how far we go. The first step. Just see if they're curious enough that they'll follow. How will the cattle react to Rod's familiar call coming from a robot? Can his voice alone muster the herd? See, they're looking at both. They're looking at both the. <laughs> it's time for the call out. Okay. Do you want to try, Dave? Come on. Come on. Keep calling. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's brilliant. What do you reckon, Rod? We've. We've automated you. You've killed it. <laughs> right? Because they don't know they don't know whether to hang back. Where's the food? Good. Well that worked. That's brilliant. <laughs> From a robotics perspective, what you want them to get used to is that the robot's gonna help them move from one part of the field to another part to of the field where it may be better yeah. where it may yeah. be better yeah. for them. Yeah. So you want them to get used to the fact that if the bot comes and it's calling out, then it's calling out and saying, I've got some better food for you. If you had Swagbot calling, going to the gate, that would be the paddock move yeah. done. Yeah. I'm starting to see some applications that I didn't realise before. There's a fair bit of cynicism that robots could be of use because a lot of it is hard and heavy and specialised work. But that'll change as soon as they start making an economic difference or um, start being on the shelf in the rural supply shop come and get your robot battery, uh, I can see that our children will have a, uh, a very different approach to robots. I think the farmer does need a robot. And I think a basic robot fitted with an app that will do the things that you want it to do will be in the future a great asset. I'll be, uh, I'll be going down the road for a swag bot tomorrow. Friend or foe, I'd say the bot is both. I don't know if it can run farms, but the world's changing, so there's no question there might be an opportunity for them to run farms. Do I think today's farmers need a robot? I think today's robots need a farmer. <laughs> Come on, Swagbot. 